Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love reading. I'm back. I had to take a little break. I have some stuff going on. All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm kidding. I just moved, but that's kind of crazy stuff. All right, so let's see what's coming in. This is July 13th through July 19th, 2020. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Leo. Let's see what's coming in for your love life. If this one resonates, check out below uh, the link to the extended reading is below and you can check that out where we will dive into this person and see how they really feel all right hit the thumbs up if it does resonate for me please all right sometimes i say bad words if it's offensive hard left but i hope you stay all right leo let's see what's coming in for your love life let's look at leo's love life what does leo need to know please i'm going to do a 10 card celtic and we're gonna see love 13th through the 19th, 2020. Cards have been nice and pre-shuffled as well. Let's do it. What's up, everyone? What is up? All right, coming into the current moment, what's the energy? We have the Page of Swords in reverse, that little pesky guy. What's the challenge or the influence? It's the Five of Pentacles. What's on your mind, Leo? The Seven of Cups. All right, what happened in the recent past? The Emperor, Aries energy. What's the situation? Why is it all going down? Ooh, the king of swords. Maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you're just cutting somebody off, perhaps. Coming into the near future, Leah, what will you experience? Rest, withdrawal, recuperation, healing, all that good stuff, four swords. How do you see yourself right now? As the magician, all right. Maybe you have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. Manifesting, all right, using that law of attraction to get what you want all right in your environment what energy are they bringing you've got a two of cups coming in in your environment what's in your emotions so how are you feeling these days oh okay leo ten of cups some of you are really focused on your family your home life all right your own happiness with the ten of cups what's the outcome in love Ooh, the ace of pentacles a new beginning all right, Leo, what's at the bottom of the deck? What do we see? The five of wands. You could have more than one person kind of vying for your attention. That's that's what I was getting right away from this. There's somebody that you either cut communication with, you're leaving them out in the cold, you think they're a liar, something like that. And you're manifesting, it looks like you're maybe manifesting a newer connection, whether you know it or not. You've got a relationship in your environment trying to come in, but at the same time, you're kind of just pulling away with the Four of Swords healing. You may want to heal something with somebody. Let's see what's uh, clarifying all of this. On your mind is the Seven of Cups. Keeping your options open. You might be confused. Do I go to the past? Do I go to something new? Could be just a lot going on. Somebody put their foot down in the past with the Emperor energy. Setting up some boundaries bossing up taking control of your life i feel like that's your energy all right what do we see for leo please sun moon rising venus the 13th through the 19th what does leo need to know about love it's coming in for leo sun moon rising venus if this one isn't your story check out your moon or your rising or just check next week it's impossible to hit everybody every time although i hope to all right leo what does Leo need to know about love? All right, let's do it. Let's see what this is all about, Leo. We're doing it. We are doing it. Okay, so why is this, let's see, why is this five of wands coming into the reading? So this is your overall energy coming in. Why is this five of wands here? What's this about? And we have the two of wands trying to make a decision. See, that's kind of what I thought. Some of you might be reflecting on the past. Do I do I let this past go and go towards something new? You're, you know, the two in tarot is all about decisions between two people, two paths, but still not quite taking action because you're you you either have some inner conflict here or there's some drama going on with somebody here. Um, you know, maybe they had other options or, you know, put you in a competitive situation, but regardless coming in Due to drama or inner conflict, you guys are needing to make a decision or a choice here. So the energy right now, we have a page of swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the seven of wands. I think you're protecting yourself. You're kind of pushing something away, someone, something, maybe not communicating. 
you know, might just be kind of keeping an eye, but not communicating. Maybe this person lied to you. So your guard is up with that seven of wands. That's your energy with the wands. So I think that you're protecting yourself. And therefore, what's influencing this is the five of pentacles. Maybe just shutting someone out. What's this five of pentacles? And the seven of pentacles and just kind of waiting. It's waiting and seeing, do I, you know, do I go towards something new? Do I give this person a chance? You're reflecting on the past, but you're you're giving somebody the cold shoulder. Now remember, the energy could be reversed, but this is what I'm seeing, all right? On your mind is the seven of cups, keeping your options open. You might just be confused, too, on what to do. What's the seven of cups on Leo's mind? Yeah, the death card, sign of Scorpio. Changes, big changes after maybe ending something else and keeping those options open or you're confused. Do you want to put the final nail in the coffin on something? What's this death card on Leo's mind? Justice in reverse. Yeah, justice in reverse, Libra and energy. Somebody did somebody wrong. Maybe you were lied to and you're just putting an end to it and keeping your options open is what it looks like. But I still think you're a little bit of a crossroads about what to do maybe towards something new, right? In the past, you put your foot down. You've got the emperor. Could have been dealing with an Aries. What's the Emperor doing? Yeah, holding back. Very stubborn energy. You were doing this or somebody was doing this to you. But in the recent past, we have the energy of setting up some boundaries. I'm in control. I'm regaining order and stability of the situation. Either because somebody was holding back on you or you decided to hold back on them. It's very, very guarded and, and quite stubborn energy. But it's really, you know, to protect yourself. This is all going down because of a king of swords. King of swords and the upright, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, somebody that's very intelligent, can be a little bit detached, right? Kind of icy. What's this king of swords doing? And the three of swords, yeah. Somebody's cutting somebody off, it looks like. Could have been an air sign, doesn't have to be. But that three of swords, a lot of Libra and energy there. A breakup. You know, a falling apart separation of some sort and cutting through it, cutting somebody off. And it could be because you feel like they lied to you. And so now you're super defensive against that energy. I've got a couple cards of liar, liar, pants on fire. Now coming into the near future, you'll experience the four of swords, recovery, pulling away, healing, taking a break. What's this four of swords about? Yeah. And being on one's own, the nine of pentacles. You know, the Nine of Pentacles knows their value, knows their worth, right? Goes out with their friends. I know, I know, Corona. I know, nobody's going out. But this is just ha its energy of doing a lot of soul searching and knowing your own worth and being okay on your own, right? Because you've dealt with some sort of imbalance here, and I think you've put an end to it. What's this Nine of Pentacles coming into the near future and the Knight of Cups? But here comes that Knight in Shining Armor with some sort of apology or an offer. So let's see for Leo. Is this a new offer of love or is this somebody they already know? What's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, the star. See, somebody's going to try to heal something here. Aquarian energy. You'll probably hear an apology from somebody, but I think you're very withdrawn from this energy. The Knight of Cups is, again, you know, kind of that knight in shining armor. Typically for me, somebody you've already dealt with. And there's some restored hope or faith here, but also very healing energy. So expect that. How do you see yourself right now? Well, the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Creating. And the Five of Cups. I think manifesting away from loss and sadness and disappointment, that five of cups, you know, some challenges from the past where you felt disappointed or you felt a loss of some sort. Could have even been somebody that manipulated you, but you've got all the tools and all the power. You guys have really stepped up in your power here. What's this five of cups here? Why is this here? And the page of swords and taking that sword and just cutting through the BS. The Page of Swords is very inquisitive, but you know, especially in this deck, the Page of Swords can be kind of angry, right? Because the Page of Swords has discovered something that has left you in this Five of Cups energy and you just want to manifest new and create new. Now in your environment coming in that you don't see is a Two of Cups. Why is this Two of Cups in Leo's environment? And the Eight of Swords, frustration. 
tied and bound, kept at a stalemate with that eight of swords, thinking about this connection over and over. So it looks like you've moved on from someone, Leo, but they haven't, is what this looks like. What is this person doing in this eight of swords energy? And the hermit, sign of Virgo, pulling away, withdrawing. They feel a strong connection with you. They feel this like very, you know, emotional bond, you know, relationship with you. But because somebody has either ghosted, withdrawn, kind of left the other person out in the cold, it's leaving this person with their hands tied. All they can do is kind of think about it over and over. They feel quite stuck. And with that hermit energy, it's either because, sorry, I dropped too many cards. It's either because you've withdrawn or they're not really speaking to you either, but they still want to come in. And they will at some point. What's this hermit doing here? Yeah, see your past with the Six of Cups, most likely. Or somebody that just feels a very strong connection to you. They're kind of keeping their distance and giving you your space. But you'll hear, you'll hear from this person. I'm not so sure you guys want it, though. Let's keep going. In your emotions, Leo, you're feeling the Ten of Cups. Very much concentrating on your own happiness, your home, your family. What's this Ten of Cups? Just wanting that emotional satisfaction. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Why is this Eight of Cups in reverse in Leo's emotions? Why is this here? Eight of Cups in reverse. And judgment. Sign of Scorpio. You guys may have uh, had to separate from somebody here that you were either married to or in a long-term relationship. I don't know that you guys, it's interesting because I don't really feel like you guys want this back, but in your emotions, you're kind of thinking about it. Why is judgment here? Yeah, the five of pentacles. You're leaving them out in the cold. I think this is more awareness on Leo's part. Because you guys, the reason this is all happening is because of a breakup or a separation from this King of Swords type energy. And you guys are feeling shut out or you've shut somebody out. But in this energy here, you're defensive too. It's like you found out somebody wasn't who they said they were. They lied to you or something else. But deep down in your emotions, you still feel that emotional tie to them. Why does Leo feel the Five of Pentacles? Why does Leo feel this Five of Pentacles and the lovers? Sign of Gemini. Making a choice. I think you still feel a strong connection to this person, but you're trying to take your emotion out of it. And it's kind of that energy of, like, when you know you can't be with somebody or shouldn't be with somebody, you just force yourself to detach. That's what I'm getting here. But see, they still feel that. You both feel it. What the hell, Leo? What the hell? I think you're hurt here. You're trying to pick up the pieces and you've set some boundaries, but deep down in your emotions, you haven't completely cut off those emotions. It's almost like you're just kind of trying to teach them a lesson a little bit here. Nothing wrong with that, especially if they lied to you or did you wrong. You're, you're shutting them out and you're making that decision, but it's hard because you feel a strong connection. Why is this three of swords in the foundation? Why is this three of swords in the foundation? See the sun, there you are, Leo. See, that's what I was saying before. You've had some sort of clarity or illumination here. You're in your element in the upright. The sun has come out and it's told you, you got to be detached. You got to be logistical. That's what this king of swords does. But in your feeling, in your emotions, you still feel that strong connection. But you're, you're being more pragmatic and you're being more logistical and you're not letting your emotions take over because the sun has brought some sort of illumination here. What's the sun? Why is the sun here in the foundation for Leo? See, there you are, the queen of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. Taking action. You guys feel strong. You feel empowered. You feel confident in what you've done here, even though deep down it's causing you pain and separation. It's almost like you're waiting for them to make a move, which they will, but they're giving you a little bit of time and a little bit of space. You guys are mirroring each other, totally. And I don't say that often, but... That's what I'm feeling. Now, the outcome has an Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles in the outcome for Leo? What's this about? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here in the outcome? And the Queen of Swords. See, there's that logistical. Again, we've got a King and a Queen of Swords here. So you guys are on the outs. This Queen of Swords, Libra, maybe you have Libra in your chart. She's raising that sword and she says, come hither. Come correct or don't come because the Ace of Pentacles is the outcome. That's great. That's a gift from the universe. Let's plant that seed. And it looks like it'll happen. 
but the Queen of Swords is going to be very matter of fact about it. The Queen of Swords has drawn a line in the sand and she's speaking her truth and she's cutting out. Your energy is super strong, very Leo-like. So this person is coming at you, but you're going to make sure that they're not BSing you. I don't feel like they are. I don't know what they did to you in the past, Leo. It looks like a lie of some sort or some something was imbalanced here in some way. What's this Queen of Swords doing in the outcome for Leo? Yeah, the Eight of Wands, progress, change, and movement quickly. I think this turns around for you quickly, but you're going to speak your truth and you're going to kind of set the path here for this new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles. I don't feel like this is new. I feel like this is somebody that you've already dealt with. Why does this person feel the Six of Cups for Leo? What's the Six of Cups about? Yeah, see the Ten of Swords. See, that's you've had an ending. They're not. It's not new. You've had an ending with this person. They still feel hurt, right? I again, y'all will have to tell me in the comments what this person did or what happened, what you did. You know what? What the hell happened? There's been some sort of deception or even a, a nasty fight with the Ten of Swords. It's this Ten of Swords. Yeah, look, there's a King of Wands. You've got two suits of the same. You've got a King and a Queen of Wands, a King and a Queen of Swords. You guys still feel the passion for each other. You both still want this. You're, they're looking right at each other here. So this person's going to finally make a move. They're just waiting for the timing. And I think that they've gotten the hint from you. You mean business. There's communication coming in. What's this communication? What's this communication and the outcome for Leo? What is this? Yeah, it's just taking its time. I told you because they're waiting. That Knight of Pentacles takes a while. Bring in that pentacle slowly but surely, right? Taking a couple sips of water from his cantina while he waits. I don't know. Feeding the horse. But he's taking his time because he wants to make sure that it's, you know, stable and grounded. This looks like a comeback around to me, you guys. That's what I have, Leo. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. If you want to dive into this person's emotions a little bit more and how they truly feel, meet me over on Vimeo. Link is below. If not... I still love you hard and I will talk to you soon. Take care.